Reese James set to miss six weeks of season with hamstring injury. Reese James is set to be sidelined for around six weeks with a hamstring injury, according to reports. The defender was withdrawn against Brighton and Hove Albion after suffering a tear to his hamstring. And as per Nizar Kinsella, James is set to be sidelined for at least six weeks for Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea. The journalist took to Twitter to write, Reese James's injury, it sounds like a full, bad hamstring tear. He's expected to be out for at least six weeks. Chelsea will decide whether they need to recall a loanee like Dujon Sterling or sign someone after the Liverpool match. This comes as a huge blow to Chelsea, who currently sit eight points off Manchester City and have faced a COVID-19 crisis at the club in recent weeks. The Blues played several matches despite having many positive tests at the club and James was the latest casualty, going off with an injury against Brighton. The blow is huge for Chelsea as Ben Chilwell picked up an ACL injury in his side's 4-0 Champions League win over Juventus and it looks like he may now be out for the rest of the season. Thomas Tuchel confirmed that Rhys James' injury was just a hamstring injury in his post-match press conference, with a tear being confirmed in recent days as the January transfer window is now open, allowing Chelsea to dip into the market for a replacement if they so wish to. Thomas Tuchel urges Chelsea to never give up in Premier League title race. Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has urged his side to never give up as they are involved in the Premier League title race along with Liverpool and Manchester City. This comes as the Blues prepare to face Liverpool at Stamford Bridge on Sunday. Speaking to the press ahead of the match, Tuchel encouraged his team to never give up when it comes to the title race. Chelsea sit eight points behind Manchester City at the time of writing and remain one point ahead of Liverpool. Tuchel previously ruled the Blues out of a title race after dropping points at home to Brighton. When asked if Chelsea are out of the title race, Tuchel confessed, how should we be in it? We have seven Covid cases. We have five or six players out for six or more weeks. How should we compete in a title race? However, the German has since backtracked on his statement as football, London quote him saying, I don't know. I would say we never give up nothing. Why should we stop a race in the middle of a race? That's my first thought about this question. The other thought is that we don't think about this stuff because it is about what we tell the team today and how we approach the team. I know that you think a lot about this but I never think about stuff like this. That's why I am confronted about questions like this in a press conference. I am trying to look as smart as possible even though I am clearly not and find good answers in this case. Chelsea could sign Kieran Trippier after Rhys James' injury. Chelsea could attempt to sign Kieran Trippier in the January transfer window, according to reports. The Blues will be without Rhys James for the next couple of months as he suffered a hamstring injury against Brighton earlier in the week. It was revealed that even though he does not need surgery, he will be out for around six to eight weeks while he recovers from his hamstring tear. According to The Guardian, James injury could see Chelsea make a move for Trippier. The Englishman is currently at Atletico Madrid in La Liga having previously played Premier League football for the Blues rivals Tottenham Hotspur. He has made 17 appearances for the Spanish side so far this season, with the 31-year-old wanting to make a return to English football. However, Thomas Tuchel's side could face competition for his signature as fellow Premier League side Newcastle United are keen on bringing him to St James Park, with reports stating a bid has been lodged. With James now joining Ben Chilwell on the sidelines, Chelsea will be without both of their starting players in the left and right wing-back roles. The Blues have been struggling for form as of late due to their injury woes, with recent results seeing them lose pace on the current Premier League leaders Manchester City. Chelsea will next face Liverpool on Sunday afternoon at Stamford Bridge, with the hosts sitting in second and one place above the visitors. Tuchel's side are still in all competitions so far this season as they look to compete on all fronts. Ruben Loftus-Cheek doubtful for Chelsea's Premier League clash versus Liverpool. Chelsea are likely to be without Ruben Loftus-Cheek for their Premier League fixture against Liverpool, head coach Thomas Tuchel has confirmed. 
The 25-year-old hasn't featured since December 16 against Everton after he picked up a knock. However his troubles were added to as he tested positive for COVID-19 putting him in self-isolation. As several players returned from their isolation spells, Loftus-Cheek's timeout continued. He has the last four five games against Wolves, Brentford, Aston Villa and Brighton. Chelsea play their first game of 2022 on Sunday afternoon welcoming Liverpool to Stamford Bridge, but Loftus-Cheek is set to still be sidelined. Ruben is not back in team training so it will be a close one, Tuchel told the official Chelsea website ahead of the game on the midfielder's availability. Loftus-Cheek will hope to eye the FA Cup third round tie against Chesterfield on January 8 as the perfect chance to play some minutes to build his fitness back up. Chelsea hope to have Thiago Silva back in contention against the Reds on Sunday following a hamstring injury. Tuchel added, Thiago has hopefully no reaction and that he is available for Sunday. The Blues head coach still has several selection decisions to make as late assessments will be made on his squad over who is and isn't available to face Jurgen Klopp's side. We have some other players out and some others to evaluate still what's going on and who will be available, continued the German. Chelsea's Romelu Lukaku surprised the club with his latest comments as he gave an exclusive interview. This comes after the forward admitted he is unhappy with his current situation at Chelsea during an exclusive interview with Sky Sport Italia. As per David Ornestine via Sky Sports, Chelsea was surprised with the commente because he directly organised the interview. When asked how he is feeling, the Blues record signing made an honest admission, which surprised the Chelsea hierarchy. He said, physically I'm fine, even better than before. After two years in Italy, in which I worked a lot at Inter with trainers and nutritionists, I am physically fine. But I'm not happy with the situation, this is normal. I think the coach has chosen to play with another module, I just have to not give up and continue to work and be a professional. I am not happy with the situation, but I'm a worker and I must not give up. The interview was conducted around three weeks ago. Whilst Lukaku was struggling for game time at the club. However, Thomas Tuchel was not impressed with his forward's comment, as he replied to the situation. The German head coach made a clear demand to his striker, saying, training, training, playing. Training, playing, training, sleeping, eating good, training, playing, sleeping, eat good, drink a lot of water, sleep, train and don't give interviews. It remains to be seen as to how the Chelsea boss will handle the situation, with the Blues facing Liverpool in the Premier League on Sunday. Mauricio Pochettino tells Paris Saint-Germain to sign Conor Gallagher from Chelsea in £30 million transfer deal. Mauricio Pochettino wants Paris Saint-Germain to sign Conor Gallagher from Chelsea in a £30 million transfer deal. Gallagher has enjoyed a breakthrough season while on loan at Crystal Palace, scoring six goals and making three assists for Patrick Vieira's side and generally impressing with his energetic and dynamic performances. Arsenal legend Vieira has praised Gallagher often this season and Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel has also hailed his progress at Selhurst Park. According to The Sun, Gallagher's performances have caught the attention of PSG and Pochettino, with the former Tottenham boss urging his bosses to bring the English midfielder to the French capital. It is claimed PSG believe Chelsea may be willing to sell Gallagher despite his status as one of the most exciting young players in the Premier League. Gallagher has previously said he intends to return to Stamford Bridge next summer and challenge Chelsea's current midfielders for a place in the team. But the opportunity to play alongside the likes of Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar in Paris would surely be too good to turn down. Given Gallagher's impressive form, many Chelsea fans have bemoaned the fact he has not been wearing a blue shirt this season. But Chelsea loan coach Carlo Cudicini says a move to Palace was perfect for Gallagher at this stage in his career. That is all just new today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.